So I enjoy watching women cycling because uh, there are, it's a smaller group of very strong women. So the race is really animated from the start. And it's just attack, attack, attack for two or three hours. So I, I really like that as opposed to the men where they can ride for four hours at the same pace, do nothing, and then all the attacks are in the last hour. And also, I mean, I really like the fact that, you know, they're not paid nearly as well as the men, but they ride just as hard as the men. So it's more for love than anything else. You know, the men, you could say it's riding for money. The women, it's riding for prestige and for the enjoyment of the sport. Is the team ready? I think you're ready or always ready for Flanders, but what about the rest of the team? Yeah, we've been here for the last two weeks and we've been just preparing mentally for the Cape of Thunder, so now we're ready and tomorrow's a big day. What makes this race so different comparing with all the races? Yeah, I think it's just the history behind it and also it's so hard, um, you know, with all the cobbles and the climb and I mean for me it's the hardest race of the year, so super motivated and we'll see what I can do tomorrow. Laat ons zijn, heel het geheel van de Ronde van Vlaanderen is iets uniek. De Hallingen. It's a very special race, the most special race in Belgium that we have. We have a lot of races for younger guys, for, for every category. And it's, it's something that, that we've seen from, from when we are young. But, but this is the most special one with all the cobblestones, with, with all the hills, with, with the public. We have more than 200,000 people tomorrow. Uh, on the race uh, road, so it's, 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 it's our the most special cycling day of the year. Laat ons zijn, we gaan over, over 15 jaar, hadden we een enorm verschil. Nu hebben we stil aan, uh, it's the a, We have seen a, a very uh, strong growth of, of the quality of the ladies team, because 15 years ago there was a, a huge difference in level between the men and, and the women. But now, 14, 15 years later, we have professional cycling teams for women. We have a, a, an average speed of almost 39 in the race. So there is there is still a, a, a difference, but not that, that big any more than, than 15 years ago. There are, we have, it's also a professional race. Eh? When you when you own the professional rider in this women category, you can be hoping of a, of a top 10 place tomorrow. So uh, we, are, we are on the good way. In the women's teams, we have some teams with lots of staff and some smaller teams. We're one of the smaller teams, quite ambitious, we're growing. We're lucky to have got some extra staff. So we've got seven riders here, six for the race and a reserve. And then obviously we've got the mechanic with a van. Uh, it's not ideal to be prepping the bikes. At this particular hotel, some race hotels, uh, it is uh, much easier. So he'll be going back to the service course in danger. So it's just coordinating that. And my first real job of the day is to come to the permanence for the inscription, uh, bring all the riders' licenses. We have four sets of uh, licenses, so um, we should never turn up to a race without the right licenses. The riders always have their own license, um, but we do have some foreign riders this year, so it's not all British licenses. We have an Austrian rider, an Italian rider, and a Belgian rider. They have different protocols. The Belgian rider also comes with a special Sonneurs license, so if she's called to the drug control, um, we have to accompany her with the correct license uh, ready. We also have the sheet for the team presentations in the market square. We're on at 4.39. Get that back, that information back to the riders, and then my next job be this evening for the team manager's meeting, uh, which starts at 6 o'clock, and that's here in the same building, where we'll be given the, um, the number of the car in the car order, uh, we're now up to 11th team in the World Tour, um, Women's World Tour rankings, which is uh, really good for us, which means we, we should be in, at least in the top 15 cars tomorrow, um, which makes a big difference to a race like this. You can get to the front of the race much quicker than if you're car 27 or car 28. And then we'll have a briefing by the president of the jury and the race organiser about any changes to the parkours or any dangerous uh, spots, so we'd obviously take a note of that to give that back information back to the riders when we have our team meeting. Um, I vary when we have the team meeting, sometimes it's the night before, sometimes it's the morning of the race, very much depending on the mood of the riders and the time we have in the morning. So um, we don't have a set time for that, that keeps that a little bit of pressure. 
the stickers for the vehicles? At the team management. We'll get that later. Okay. At the team management. Yeah. Um, okay. How many will we get? Three? Hello, uh, I'm Martin. I'm the DS of uh, Wiggle uh, High Five. Now we're going into the to the manager uh, meeting before uh, the day before the race. So I'll have the last information from the organizer. We will get uh, the numbers for the car for the order of the service cars and uh, last updates and going through some main rules and then then we're ready to set off tomorrow morning. Breakfast was at seven, and then right after breakfast, just start pumping in uh, the tires in the hotel. Uh, then we drove to here. Uh, yesterday I uh, uh, fixed almost all the bikes, so today is just an easy day for me. Only pump tires and make sure everything is all right. I think it's most with tires and pressure, so I just just try different pressures in tires and for the couples, you know and made a, had a difference with the bike, two different types of bikes, and then choose the best one for today. And you also got the gears. Some uh, girls like to drive with uh, 53, 39, and in the back 11, 28. And some riders like yeah, to have 11, 30, or in the front, uh, different blades. So yeah, it just depends on what they want, and they may choose. The Garmin mount already here, so you put the Garmin here, so it will be more modern. Uh, so it will be lighter, much lighter than the first one as well. And I also promised the girls that we are going to offer more options, yeah. even very narrow, and even, even even the carbon. Yeah. So because it makes sense. So we are supporting the women's cycling, so we need to. And they see that. And when you when you come to their hotel and you're at the races and stuff, it means so much to them. Oh no, you know, it we, makes a difference. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We always try to support women's cycling. Casca made me a customized helmet and champion system made a nice pants and uh, plus we have the boa closures and I match and it's very nice to you know. 
and, the, and my nails, yeah, of course. This one? <laughs> and this uh, hair, hair string. Um, it's just nice to match a bit in the race and uh, to, to get recognized as a yeah, world tour leader. Primer tramo, tres coves 45 kilómetros. Hasta ahí hay que sufrir porque se produce la primera selección y ahí 20 corredores van a ir a, al palco. Después, importante, una vez que llegamos al pueblo de Narve, giramos y hay que estar preparado para la primera subida en el kilómetro 61, ¿vale? Sé que si te voy a decir que te vas a poner nervioso y no quiero que te pongas nerviosa, quiero que disfrutes de la carrera y que es tu primer año y que tienes que ver, eh, oler y disfrutar y nada más. Pero ellas dos sí que si sí tienen algún problemilla, sobre todo en la primera parte de la carrera, ¿sabes? En el pavés y esto, ¿sabes? Están pendientes los primeros 45 kilómetros de ellas dos, ¿vale? Y nada más, adelante y, y a sufrir y a divertirse. Venga, alegría. Venga. During uh, the race, it's really, really uh, important to start uh, with a really hot uh, muscle because the start of the race is always hard and it's really long. So it's really important, a uh, big message before the race. I think a race like this, it's important um, because the weather is not that warm. So I like to have a bit warm, uh, warm up my uh, muscles. But when the weather is uh, more hot, I, uh, I'm also okay without. Nah, you couldn't do. Just the main things are though, keep to your role, know your role, and when you do it, do it 110%. That's, that's all we can ask of each other, okay? If you race to your potential, you're going to have a really, really good day. Full stop. Not with ends or buts. Okay. If things start to turn pear shaped or they, you know, things aren't playing out, stick to the plan, support each other, and ride with each other. Lots of communication, and just do it. Just do it. All right. Have a good day out there, and uh, hope for the best. No worries. Go get them. Yeah. Yeah. feeling. My name is Omer Kim. I am the owner of the Silence Pro Cycling teams. Um, I also manage uh, sports marketing uh, for Silence Incorporated. We are here for Tour of Flanders, one of the biggest races in the world. And we have a corporate hospitality event happening on Sunday where we'll be bringing in VIPs and executives from Silence and its customers uh, around the world. For an American company, I really saw the Women's World Tour after it was announced middle of 2015. So as I began to think about what I wanted to do in 2016, um, I really saw the cost of entry being what an American company would look at when thinking about a global race calendar. So global opportunities for corporate hospitality at you know, La Course, um, at Tour of Flanders, at the Aviva Tour, um, at the Prudential event. All of a sudden we started seeing major, major cities, major opportunities, and the women's team was going to take us there. So I think at this point, you know, we're the only organization in the world with a, a World Tour women's team and a, and a smaller continental men's team, which, you know, creates its own difficulties for me from an equipment and, and sponsorship perspective, but we have very happy corporate partners.
here at the entrance of the Flanders Classics Club. You have invited people, you have people who just buy the tickets. And we expect like um, 1,500 people who will come here to the stand. You have all kinds of different people, you have uh, companies, you have uh, sponsors, you have all the invited people. And then you have just the regular ticket buyers, the fans, the supporters. Yeah, you have like uh, all the tents here with food and some entertainment. And also they're building their relations with, uh, with each other. So uh, yeah, it's a great place to be. We have here a corporate hospitality suite at the finish line of the Tour of Flanders. The Tour of Flanders organization is amazing. As you can see, as you scroll through, we have branding components, we have logo, we have a blown up uh, photo of the team. We have live coverage of the event. We're able to bring some gifts for our VIPs. We have customers and executives coming from all over Belgium, Holland, the United Kingdom. We'll be able to give them a team water bottle, have a drink, have a nice lunch, and be able to really enjoy the day. From, I think, a brand impressions. So the total number of people who have seen your company, who have seen your logo, cycling offers an amazing opportunity for companies to do that. All of the branding components that go along with the team, the opportunity to activate at corporate events like this is really the way to maximize the sponsorship. Yeah, we're watching now at the Flanders Tour. Uh, we're coming on the Muur of Gerardsbergen and now it's going to start really because all the favorites will be in the bunch. De cette course, il faut être dans son travail pour dans les planètes. C'est certain que rouler comme il le fait, on évite euh, les chutes. Oh, merci, la nature. 93 km, on va être content. 22 seconds, so they're holding a bit of time now. Elisa Longo, Borghini, Annemiek van Vluten, Kevin Nuodoma, and Anna van der Bregen. We are here in the commentary position of the Tour of Flanders, where we've got the commentary position here for the women's race, uh, which takes place today at the same time as the men race. It's a UCI Women's World Tour race, the fifth race of the season. It's one of the classics for the men. It's also become a classics for the women now. New Donna as well. 10 kilometers to go, 42 seconds. It's going to be a very close finish when they hold off the peloton. This is so, so exciting. It's 16 seconds now, 3.6 kilometers to go. These four riders are in sight, but it's 3.6 did everything to bring it as close as possible for the Quermont and then yeah I mean for the final um, Ellen yeah was um, incredible uh, helping to pull that uh, breakaway down. 